Okay, so the last video was a lot of setup and how you actually do a lot of the preparatory work to do Enochian. This time I'm just going to show you how to go ahead and, and actually practice Enochian once you have your tools, your setup. And again, it's, it's understood that a lot of you, especially if you're just beginning, you're going to have an incomplete set of tools and you're going to make a lot of substitutions here and there. And that's, that's just life. You're going to have to do that at some point um, for, for a lot of things. You know, things are going to be imperfect. It's going to be muddled. But as you get more stuff, as you, you complete your tool set, what you'll find is that the process gets a little bit easier each time. It's like, like I said, you're sort of immersing yourself more and more into the you know, Ikean magical system. But let's get started. So um, just as a basic overview, um, the main idea with Enochian is that you're going to um, uh, start getting however many tools you can. You can either print off the ones that I made available, just use those as, good, as a substitute in the beginning. Um, again, from my website, I, I put it out there for free. It really is important to me that um, this be out there and available for folks without a huge financial overhead, because I get it. It's tough out there. Um, so anyway, you you make your tools or you get you have as many substitutions as you want. So then you need to activate it. And I'll show you what that means. And I'll actually be doing that as we talk here. OK, so the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to activate the ring. And it's very simple. You say uh, you're going to quote the Archangel Michael. You say, Behold the ring. Lo, this is it. This is it wherewith all miracles and divine works and wonders were wrought by Solomon. This is it which the Archangel Michael hath revealed to me. This is it which philosophy dreameth of. This is it which the angels scarce know. This is it, and blessed be his name. I, his name, be blessed forever. Without this, I shall do nothing. Blessed be his name that encompasseth all things. Wonders are in him, and his name is Wonderful Pele. His name worketh wonders from generation to generation. Amen. So the next step is the Laman, and you just say, Behold the Laman, as the holy table conciliateth heaven and earth. Let this Laman, which I place over my heart, conciliate me to the holy table. So as you can see, you just go ahead and put on the Laman then. And that's it. The next it. part is you just are going to go through the Enochian table uh, around the outside, and you're going to recite each of the names of the letters. So I will do that so next. So you're always going to start at the corner, and this is the Enochian version of the letter B. Uh, and the name of this letter is actually Pa. And I'm not going to go through and translate, you know, say which, you know, English letter is the equivalent of all of these. You can look that up on your own, but it goes like this. Pa med, fam med, drux, fam, fam, ur, jed, graf, drux, med, graf, graf, med, med, or med, gal, jed, jed, drux. Pa, drux, un, tal, fam, don, ur, graf. Don or giz gon med un jed med graf van ur don don un pa drux ur ur don ur drux un med graf graf med med graf kef jed jed ur mals mals fam un pa gon med un graf fam mals tal ur pa pa drux un un van un med un gon drux drux ur okay so you're going to go around the whole table seven times and uh, have recited each one of the sides of the table seven times and all for the corners as well so the next part we're going to do is we're going to just do the central square and go ahead and you know have your laughs now it's not for me i didn't actually make a square because i was just kind of learning so but each of the cells within it is an, is a square so Oh well, um, but we'll go over that. And again, it's gonna be uh, seven times right, each. So I'm gonna go through the central square. Again, I'm gonna go seven times each. I'm gonna go once right to left, and then I'm gonna go down. So it'll go like this. Gizgon med van ur don ur don ur graf med med. Gizg van ur graf gon ur don med med don ur Again, I'm not gonna show you each time because uh, it's uh, it does get repetitive. But for this one, I'm gonna show you. Um, so instead of just going seven times, right to left and then uh, top to bottom, I'm gonna actually go through all of the names because you only do it once. So yeah, so you're gonna do the SDA next and here I'm just gonna go relatively quickly. Again, if you get Lon's book, it's gonna be pretty simple. So this is going to be Galas, Githog, Theoth, Horlun, Inon, Eoth, Galithog. And I do that one more time because that's the, all the seals combined together. So then I go to this hepta heptagon here and I go, Tzavkiel, Tzadkiel, Kamael, Raphael, Haniel, Mikael, Gabriel. And then I start here with an, this angel name right here. El mi ase ayana akeli azdubin stimkul. Ay ayye ailar dimal heoa beijia stimkul. 
Esa bathe zedekie medimi assemili. Eana ve laiba rocle hagonel elemase. Zabathiel zedekiel medimi el semeliel nogahel karabiel levana el. So that was the SDA, and then finally we're going to do the uh, round tablet of Nelbaj. This one is pretty simple. Lua, Lang, Sach, Urch, Yad Mozir, Yad Babzina, Yad Sorgru, Yad Serose. Okay, so after you do the call, uh, do the, um, uh, activate the furniture, you then do the calls. The calls I recommend, uh, I always recommend starting out with the first two spoken calls. Um, there's another first call, which is uh, hidden. Um, the first call uh, is, the first and second calls are basically um, invocation and evocation together. And generally what I found is, and, and just talking with, um, I think it was uh, David Shoemaker who first suggested this technique, and I found it to really be helpful, um, is that they generally speaking amplify, help ab amplify the signal. And that kind of makes sense because uh, invocation is sort of like drawing energy into your physical body, into your system. And then evocation is like bringing it uh, closer to your environment. And you can imagine, okay, you're basically saying, okay, God, be closer to me here, but also internally. So I'll go ahead and read off the first call, and I'll, I'll also give you the translation. Ol sonf vorsch goho yad balt lanch kals von fo sobre zodol rorai te naz pisad gre. Tamal purge dias holqua qua e nothoa zins, od coma ta noblo zin. So be fil non pi purge al dai dias urbs o bole garsam. Kesar mohorela kebe per dias zonrench cab ermiadna, pila farzem od znerza. Adne od gono yad pil dias hom od to. Sobe yod, sobe jod ipam ul ipamis, dies loholo, vep zomdi pomal od bogpa e ai te payap payamos od veoan zeker sie od zamran odo saikel qua e lap zirdo no comad hoth jaida. So that translates to, I reign over you, saith the God of justice, in power exalted above the firmaments of wrath, in whose sun the hands is as a sword, and the moon as a through-thrusting fire, which, me measureth, which me measureth your garments in the midst of my gestures, and trust you together as the palms of my hands, whose seats I, gar I garnished with the fire of gathering, and which beautified your garments with admiration, to whom I made a law to govern the holy ones, and delivered you a rod with the ark of knowledge, Moreover, you lifted up your voices and swear obedience and faith to him that liveth and triumpheth, whose beginning is not, nor can, nor end cannot be, which shineth as a flame in the midst of your palace and reigneth amongst you as the balance of righteousness and truth. Move, therefore, and show yourselves. Open the mysteries of your creation. Be friendly unto me, for I am the servant of the same your God, the true worshiper of the highest. It's beautiful, right? Uh, I'm reading off of Lon Milo Duquette's version. I would be reading off of uh, Aaron Leach's version, uh, which I do I do recommend. He did a, a fantastic study of this in um, the Angelical... Uh, well, he's got a couple of books. He's got the Essentially No Kieran Grimoire and also the Angelical Language Volume 1, uh, which goes into uh, uh, the pronunciation as best he's been able to reconstruct it from the diaries. Okay, let's go on to the second call, which is... Ach du pea zongom fe ipsald vaivel sobam yal perg Izezad payad payadef Kesarma ebremig ta te nal talho paraclida qua te lorsel qua turbzo oj balto Giui, excuse me, jivai chais las diorai od my kalp chais baya ozongon Lapno antrof kors ta gi o kwamanin jaydon torzu torzu go hel zeker sie sino quod zamran my kelzo odo zazem yura plap zirjo jad by the way the the i'm doing a little bit more pausing and having to redo this because i'm trying to internally um 
remember the uh, original pronunciation that Leach had. I just prefer that. It just rings truer to the ear. Um, if you're doing this, for example, you could always say zakar ka sino kod, you know, something like that, which would be much more like a Latin pronunciation. The angels know what you're talking about if you're ever actually doing this. So the, this translates to, this second call translates to, can the wings of the winds understand your voices of wonder, O you second of the first, whom the burning flames have framed within the depths of my jaws, whom I have prepared as cups for a wedding, or as the flowers in their beauty for the chamber of righteousness? Stronger are your feet than the barren stone, and mighty are your vo mightier are your voices than the manifold winds. For you are becoming a building such as is not, but in the mind of the all-powerful. Arise, saith the first. Move, therefore, unto his servants. Show yourselves in power, and make me a strong seer, for I am of him that liveth forever. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to move into the 19th call, which is the call of the Aethers. And technically, this would actually be the 49th call, because we're going to do the call to Tex. And that call is... Um, and it's it's much uh, it's it's longer, so just bear with me as we do it. Um, but one of the things I wanted to say is there is this line in here where um, it says that uh, uh, it repenteth me I made man, and there are different ways to take this. I mean, some people take that very literally and saying, okay, God wants to end the world, wants to end humanity, you know, and that's why there's climate change and war and this and that. That's one way of taking it, <laughs> okay. Uh, not my way. So the way I look at it is, look, um, it repent of me that I made man like he is right now, right? So we have a choice as human beings to, like, be better people, uh, try to be more angelic-ish, you know, still be in, hum be in, be on earth, but learn how to um, basically be more, m m uh, bring out our divinity more. That doesn't mean that we can't ground here, uh, you know, in our own bodies and, you know, be aware of our environment and stuff like that. But it does mean that, uh, you know, I think if if basically God is saying right now, this is not the, the current state is not good. So let's change it. At least that's how I take it. OK, uh, it's uh, it's also a complicated uh, thing. You would really need to get into a lot of theological questions. But at any rate, um, what this actually does is it opens up the experience of the Aethers. So this is, again, the, the 19th spoken call is the call of all 30 Aethers. The only difference is you change the th first, uh, the third word. So the first two words are major dax ds, which means, O you heavens which dwell in, and then they name the Aether. So what is the Aether? I'll just go really quickly through what that is. It's basically like if you have heard of the idea of seventh heaven or the seven heavens, the Aethers are much like that. Um, you could also, I know that Jason Louv gets into this book in his uh, em book, Empire, John Dee and the Empire of Angels. So you can go in there and um, sort of understand some of the parallels to Gnosticism, for example. But at any rate, these things, especially in the Jewish Merkaba and he Hekelot tradition, um, they're, they got a long tradition, right? And I am farthest from the expert on this, but I have enough of a, of a working knowledge to sort of be able to say, well, maybe this kind of maps. <laughs> okay, you're right. Again, I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm just a guy and somebody who has way more background in this uh, can answer this. I'm just trying to give you an introduction to this, okay? So I'll go ahead and start the call and then I will say the translation. Now, just be advised, if you don't want to do Enochian at this point, that's fine. Uh, but being here and even paying attention and getting into a relaxed state before you do this will actually make it much more likely that you may start getting a bit of that angelic feeling, that angelic visionary feeling. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing to do. But I do want to advise you that that's um, coming up next. It's out of the ordinary. And some people, you know, probably myself included, have had to do a lot of... Um, you know, coming to terms with the with the how this changes uh, the paradigm, uh, especially if you get deeper into it. Uh, but that said, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it moves the soul. Uh, I recommend it for people who, especially something passive like this, where you don't need to put in <laughs> a lot of effort. All you're doing is watching a guy on YouTube. But I did want to provide that caution, okay? Um, but also, so if you move forward, great. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And 
and it goes like this. And again, I'm gonna, it's tough without uh, Leech's pronunciation in front of me. I'm like, okay, how am I gonna say this? Do I remember that? I'll do my best. So this is the lowest of the Aethers texts. We're not gonna do the highest one. It really is a building process if you ask me. Um, other people will disagree, but let's go ahead and get started. Majrax dies brav tex, chais mai keol se ener keosko od fisais balzais ras jaida, non sago hulim mikma edo ayan mad, ye od blai orb se be o o eona, chais lucif tayas peripsal dias abresa non sef neteib, keo jayod til bad fat templos, to o et non sef g mai keozama el rast, tofglo marbiari idi, idoigo, idi, idoigo. Od Torzulp, ye od Afkohol, Keoja te beord, se iner od Christios your poil tayabel, Buzder tilb noan peed orspa od da drumnai zilna, El zap tilb parmjai peripsax od te quarlest bo oepis, El nebemo yucho simp od Christios agel agtol torn para, excuse me, od Christios agtol torn merk qua tayabel elel, Ton peom de dils mo aspayan od Christios agel toton parache simp. Cordzis dod palod fai falls els mad. Od farged bams o meoas conispra od of evox to nudge. Or scat bel noes my tab jes levith mong. On chayom ptilbor spegel. Mo oaul cordzis el capai meo ixo maxip od keko kazb gosee. Begel en paiai taiantai bebeland od feocht tiloch vovim, medreax torzu, o edreax orochai bor, e boe prai, te beorai praes artebas edrepan corste dobix, yol cam praes ai arcoejor od quas quatinge, riper pe ox tsege cor o melod perds arcakerg, eoi vie corft torzu zeker od zamran esp. Sibsai but mona dia surzas taya balten, odo saikel quae, odo zasma plepa yad ne mad. And the translation is O you heavens which dwell in the first air are mighty in the parts of the earth. Air is another word for aether, by the way. O you heavens which dwell in the first air are mighty in the, or excuse me, this would be the 30th air. O you heavens which dwell in the 30th air are mighty in the parts of the earth and execute the judgment of the highest. To you it is said, Behold the face of your God, the beginning of comfort, whose eyes are the brightness of the heavens, which provided you for the government of the earth and her unspeakable variety, furnishing you with the power of understanding to dispose all things according to the providence of him that sitteth on the holy throne, and rose up in the beginning, saying, The earth let her be governed by her parts, and let there be division in her, that the glory of her may always be drunken and vexed in itself. Her course let it run with the heavens, and as a handmaid let her serve them. One season let it confound another, and let there no be creature upon or within her the same. All her members let them differ in their qualities, and let there be no one creature equal with another. The reasonable creatures of the earth let them vex and weed out one another, and the dwelling places let them forget their names. The work of man and his pomp let them let them be defaced. His buildings let them become caves for the beasts of the field. Confound her understanding with darkness. For why? It repenteth me I had made man. One while let her be known, and another while a stranger, because she is the bed of a harlot, and the dwelling place of him that is fallen. O you heavens arise, the lower heavens underneath you, let them serve you. Govern those that govern, cast down such as fall, bring forth with those that increase and destroy the rotten. No place let it remain in one number. Add and diminish until the stars be numbered. Arise, move, and appear before the covenant of his mouth, which he hath sworn unto us in his justice. Open the mysteries of your creation and make us partakers of undefiled knowledge. So that's it. That's Enochian. So activate the furniture. You know, you, you already have the furniture. So activate the furniture. Um... Then you sit down, make a call like this, and uh, in the in the event of an aether, right? And then you have a vision. So that's what it's like to do the aethers. The rest of the parts of the system are very similar, except you'll not only um, make whatever calls uh, that are associated with that. Again, Scott Stenwick gets it into it gets it, that into this into his book um, in his book, I should say, uh, mastering the mystical mystical heptarchy and mastering the great table two uh, very good resources. Um, and of course, Lon's book, uh, Enochian Vision Magic, both of those are excellent. 
and Aaron's book, uh, The Angelical Language. Uh, both volumes are excellent, uh, one and two, um, in terms of like getting into the prayer. So at any rate, um, now, okay, I just read a bunch of stuff in a funny language, right? It's it's funny to us because we're, you know, if you're re uh, watching this, you speak English, uh, hopefully, unless somebody's translated this for you um, and subtitled it and all that. Um, but the whole uh, thing with this is that you can go ahead and read this phonetically. The first time you're going to read it, it's going to be awkward. You're going to be like, how am I supposed to say this? Just try your best. Okay, just barrel on through mistakes and everything. Like I said, the angels are appreciating the effort that you're putting forward, and um, they're trying to, their best to meet you halfway. Um, they they really are on your side in that sense. Here, you know, it's, they're going to get fed up with you if they think you're doing something wrong. And you haven't listened to them, but the whole point is, uh, you know, they're not. I mean, they're going to get fed up, but they'll still help you. They're very helpful, very benevolent. Um, they are different uh, from other angels, but that's a whole other story. Um, in the sense that these are these are really hyper intelligences that you're looking at right here. Um, okay, so all of that said, enjoy. Uh, you can always like rewatch me making that final call and just like pause the video. I should have said that in, in the beginning. Um, but then and then um, you know just try to be relax and see. You might have a vision. You might notice something physiologically. One person had like some warmth on the side of their face. Another person felt very peaceful. Um, sometimes people will find they get some, they could get some clairsentient mes messages. So, um, but feel free to come back to this and try it out. But yeah, so those are the three parts. Um, but again, if you're going to do like watchtower angels or heptarchical angels, you get, you just get a little bit deeper into the subject. Um, and, uh, you, you can do a couple more things to try to assist that process. So with those parts, what you're doing is you're actually asking for something to happen, you know, please help me with blah, 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 maybe getting sick. If you're sick already, you, you want to get better, maybe trying to get a new job, um, anything like that. Uh, that's what that, those parts of the system are much more geared towards that. But the aethers to me, I always say just, if you can just like go through the aethers, um, cautiously, carefully, but still go through them. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching.